Okay, so after removal of grip tape, counter hold the bolts on top, these four. And remove the nuts. Okay, you can stop. Okay, so at this point, bolts are off. Hold this back. Okay, so the first set of wires is this guy. This guy runs between this and the battery. Okay. Second, guys. One two. These are to the two motors. No, do note the orientation of what goes into what. This one to the first one. And this one to the second one. Now, next step, undo the clips by pulling the silicone back. And now pulling the unit out. And just work it slowly, left and right, until it comes out. Don't put too much pressure going this way. Now you can pull it out. So this one's number one. Do note the orientation of where this came from. Now the next one, this one right here, this runs from the light on to turn the unit on. Same thing, try to push back the silicone. work the unit side by side. There you go. And the last. This is for the brakes. Same deal. Try to pull the silicone back a little bit. Those one, two, three, and now four screws located on each corner. One, two, three, four. Start by removing the screws. Apply good downward pressure as to not strip the screws, as I'm currently doing. Uh, go ahead and pause it. Okay, so once all four screws are removed, the unit's ready to come out. Twist a little bit as there's silicone on the bottom, and now pull the unit out. And then over here, sticky guy. Let's pull him up and away. Now the unit's removed. To put it back in, ensure some silicone paste is applied. Otherwise, you can use what's remaining in the bottom. Insert the unit. Make sure to tuck the wires. And now, line up the holes. Grab the screws. That was sick. And reinsert. And do all four corners. Okay. Okay. So once all four screws are inserted, three, four, 
start by reconnecting these wires. Remember the orientation, charger to this unit. And push from the back. Okay. This unit to the motors. To this one right over here. And then push from the back. This one. Over. And do this respect to slot. Same thing. Push from the back. Now it's a matter of reconnecting these wires back to the motors. So firstly, this wire to the right one. Make sure you have the orientation. It's keyed so you can't mess it up. this to its main source on the battery and that's it. ensure your ground wire is then inserted and reaffixed take the weather shelving Ensure the grooves are facing up. Easiest to line them under the holes. And then tuck the wires. reinsert the unit. Ensuring the grooves are lined up as such. Best to pull around and reinsert with the four screws.